Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. I'm Anthony Alba. We're gonna watch the trailer for a little independent film called Avengers Age of Ultron. Damn that noise outside. This is supposed to be a perfect video. Actually, you know what? It adds to the raw authenticity. Avengers 1, did you like it? I did like it. I liked it a lot, surprisingly. It's one of my favorite films. One of the best movie experiences I've ever had. I had a big smile on my face the whole time. Yeah. I'm, not a, I'm not a Marvel fan usually, but that one had me for some reason. That and <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's see what the hype is all about. God, this is so exciting. There we go. I'm gonna show you something beautiful. Everyone screaming for mercy. You want to protect the world, but you don't want it to change. You're all puppets. Tangled in strings. Oh shit! <laughs> Did Iron Man become a bad guy? What happened? I don't know. That's what we got to find out for. But yes, it's on IMAX! <sighs> wow, so much to talk about. This is going to be amazing. Every sequel goes darker. I mean, that's that's the key ingredient, right? Go darker. Yeah, the darkness actually seems to really be felt here. Like, the, the Ultron is, truly seems menacing. That ballet scene looked exciting, that though. There was a random ballet scene. It's like, oh my god, ballet! <laughs> Man, I mean, it, it's, it's like so cool just to see them all in the same movie again. I mean, it's not like the same kind of like, ooh, feeling as when you saw it for the first time, but it looks like they really did like amp up the game they now. Up, they up the ante quite a bit in that. And I want to understand why Iron Man and Hulk are fighting, and I, I, I kind of don't care. I, I, I could just watch the fight scene and be like, that looks cool. Maybe they weren't actually fighting. Maybe Hulk was just losing his mind and threw a car at Iron Man, and they just put that in there to make us think they were going to fight each other. Well, no, they, he like punched him towards the end. But he's just like losing his mind because he's Hulk. Yeah, I mean, that might be happening. I don't know. We don't know though. I'm not a, an aficionado when it comes to comic books. That shit looks amazing. Yeah, when that happened, I like flipped the ball or whatever that means. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> I'm really interested in seeing uh, the Quicksilver portrayal. I know he's in Days of Future Past, so it's interesting to see like this is gonna be a different take on Quicksilver. And then when there's a bunch of robots at one point, Damn, this shit's gonna be intense. How do you feel about the uh, CGI? The bag Ultron? Guy? Yeah, Ultron. I like it. I think the cinematography balances out well because like the, with the right light, that's what I noticed. Like the key to a lot of these like visual effects is good cinematography. You know, he does look menacing. He's way scarier than Loki, that's for sure. Really scary. Well, Loki's like a fun bad guy. This guy's just scary. No, he's like evil. He, it seems like he'll be the Joker of the uh But he actually seems like movies. a good he actually seems like a good bad guy for a change. Like the bad guy in Guardians of the Galaxy was just like generic bad, whereas mm. he seems like really menacingly bad here. No, it seems like a detailed actual villain. It seems like he has an actual he's not just a robot. Like he he actually has a personality about him. And it seems like he has his own thoughts and emotions, which is really cool to see too. I mean, that trailer just teases a lot of like horrible things that are gonna happen. You see like Mark Ruffalo in the snow at one point, the shield is broken in half and- Captain America's always getting knocked down though, to get back up at the end and fight again. 
I will say though, after Winter Soldier, I like Captain America a lot more. This is Batman. I just pissed off a lot of you by drinking this cup. I liked Iron Man's midget head. For <laughs> this big, <laughs> giant. Big, giant. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looked like the big Hero 6 superhero. When a he's like, little bit. When he's like geared up, but a much cooler, more menacing version. Yeah, I want to see what all the conflict is going on here. Like, Thor just randomly picks up Tony Stark by the throat at one point. But you know what was really good about the first one was that it had so much going on, yet it didn't feel like it lost track of the story it was telling. It didn't feel compact. Yeah. Right, whereas a lot of people's complaints about Spider-Man 3 with Tobey Maguire and, and the recent Spider-Man was like, it was just convoluted and all over the place. I'm really like trepidatious about this because they got a lot packed into this one one trailer, I'm like, is this gonna be as concise and, and clean as the first one was? Well, I just trust Joss Whedon. Would you guys shut up? I'm trying to film here. I really trust Joss Whedon though, because he knows how to like take care of an ensemble. He knows how to give just a efficient amount of character each time. Yeah. So there's only a few more characters in this. It's not like they bombarded it with a lot more characters. Right. Andy Serkis is in this. Oh yeah, that's right. Andy, Andy Serkis, Serkis was in it. King Kong, Smeagol. Stupid fat Avengers. I am Yoda! I am what doing was, the wrong impression. What, what, it looks like they fuck up New York a lot again, which is really cool to see. So they New York up. does not get enough destruction in movies. No, no, no. No, we need to take it Focus in. in on New York. Yeah, because we relate to it as an American audience. Right. We understand. I don't think we've destroyed New York enough. No, all. not in real life and not in movies. No. Okay, that was taking it too far. That was too far. If Seth MacFarlane can make jokes about it, I can. I'm on the same status quo as mm. Seth MacFarlane. I just want the humor to still be there, because that's part of what made the first Avengers so great, was how funny it was. So if the humor's still there within these characters, because the humor brought the characters to life, I'm hoping it still has that same touch and they don't get too serious about it. Uh, it looks pretty serious. And it looks really serious, but I, I hope that like escalates into that. It doesn't start off as the darkest fucking movie of all time. Yeah, there wasn't a one funny moment in that with uh, Sony Stark. It was like, uh, this is the end of everything I've done. Yeah, but it's just the first like, trailer. Actually, I, there, there's a bunch of rumors that Avengers 3 will mainly have a new cast. Like a new set of characters. They're gonna kill everybody off in this one. That'd be cool. And then to be concluded, what will we do? And then the ballet people are gonna come back with superpowers. You and the fucking ballet people. You know what? This might be better, just based off how epic it is. Thank you guys for recommending that trailer. I only got like a thousand comments about it right when the trailer was released. And uh, I wanted to make sure I was in the right mood to watch this. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Anthony, my brosive, Joseph, or as I call him, the Quentin Tarantino out of the From Dust Till Dawn relationship. Okay, sure. Subscribe yes. to Anthony Alba channel. Short films, movie reviews, you know, running in the family. That's how we do it. Ultron! Hey, what do you know? He wants a shout out, please. Ultron, I don't want to give you a shout out. You look like an asshole, in my opinion. I saw what you're doing to my favorite homeboys, and you know what? They're all going to kick your ass, because you're a bitch. He's sentient. <laughs> yes, I know exactly what that word means, and I, uh, I am responding to that. That's scary. Well, Ultron is, um, like I say, he's a bitch. High Flyers Tag Team. Can I get a shout out, friend, mate, bra, kid, perv, dude? Well, my friend, um, first off, am I your friend? Yes. Yes, I guess we're friends. Mate, sure, we can be lovers. Bra, uh, I don't wear bras. Uh, my boobs have gotten smaller. Kid, I, I want a kid one day. Perv, that's fair. Dude. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Perv, dude. Everything else I agree with. Bra, kid, perv, not dude. Well, brother. My penis tends to differ. What is High Flyers tag team exactly? I mean, are, are you guys like tag teaming like low flyers? Like you guys are like just taking care of one low flyer at a time, double stuff, you know what I mean, huh? I don't think they worry about the low flyers. I think they're all up here and they'll, all right, you're taking over. I don't know, I don't know what that means. Making a double penetration joke. Completely. Original Gamer. Hey Ryan, can you react to VHS Viral? Gator already reacted. Gator. Shh. Gator Martin. What's up, motherfucker? You want to go to Trailer Reaction War with me? But can you? It's awesome. Plus, can you give me a shout out, please? Original Gamer, you are the first one to ever play a game, and I am proud of you for doing that. Thank you for being the first. He's, he is like 97 years old. Original Gamer. It was one man by himself. In the 1910s. <laughs> I don't know where to go from there. No games had ever existed. Everyone thought he was crazy. Little did they know, he was on the cusp of a revolution. What are we doing? We're just sitting I think you're taking over my channel, brother. 
That's what you're doing. <laughs>